Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Chris and welcome to Cross Shop. Today's gonna be a pretty quick video. It's actually part two of a tag response in which I'm responding to Pixel Pixie. She asked me to actually name my top five favorite games, but thankfully in this tag, there's a little bit of elbow room, or at least I like to think so, because it doesn't say necessarily of all time or you know, the last week or so. So I'm actually gonna make this one my top five favorite games that I've completed this year. Now, there are some games on here that I would like to include, but I haven't actually beaten them yet. I'm still chipping away at them. Games like Chrono Trigger on DS, Monument Valley on the iOS store on iPad, and actually Goat Simulator. I know. Anyway, guys, here are my top five favorite games that I've played this year. The first one's gonna be Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on the PS3. I really thought this was a great follow-up to Assassin's Creed 2. I love the music in it still. I love that Ezio is still the protagonist in this game. I'm actually playing through Revelations right now. I think it's a really worthy sequel to what is easily my favorite game that I've played so far in the Assassin's Creed series. The next one's another PS3 game and that's Batman Arkham City. And this is the game of the year edition. So it's got some cool DLC on it. I really was astounded by the visuals in this game. Excellent music. You really do feel like Batman as you're playing this game. You feel very powerful. I'm actually kind of bummed that it took me this long to finally get around to playing it, but Better late than never. The next game is one that I really wanted to play for quite a while and finally got around to doing so once I got my own copy of it. You may have seen this one in a somewhat recent pickups video of mine, and that's Metroid Zero Mission on the Game Boy Advance. I've played through Metroid Fusion several times, and that's easily one of my favorite handheld games of all time, but this one really does give it a run for its money. It's got the story of the original Metroid on the NES, way better visuals, of course, updated music, but the same feel and all that. It's got expanded areas and levels, better power-ups, better controls. Just, this really is the best way to play the original Metroid game, in my opinion. You owe it to yourself if you're a fan of Metroid or Castlevania games to check this one out. Some people are kind of bummed about the length of it, complaining that it's a little too short. I could see that argument, but to me, it really did feel like just about the right kind of length and it didn't overstay its welcome. I actually, really wanted to just jump right back in and play it again almost immediately after beating it. So I think that's a testament to its quality. I've got one more handheld game on here and that's The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. It honestly, to me, kind of had a slow start. I didn't really feel hooked by it until maybe two or three dungeons in. Might have even been a little longer than that. But honestly, nostalgia kind of won out and I was like, okay, I feel like I'm really playing a proper sequel to A Link to the Past. I love that they preserve the top-down view. The graphics look great. Everything controls very smoothly. You really should check this one out if you're a Zelda fan or if you need something to play uh, on a road trip or on a vacation. And lastly, I've saved the game that I think has affected me the most and the one that I've thought about over and over and over again since finally, for the first time, playing and beating it ever this year. That's Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo. The controls are excellent. It still holds up graphically so well today. The music is haunting and it just really gets into your mind and you'll find yourself humming and tapping your foot to you know the, the tune of Brinstar Depths. But yeah, this game is an incredible 2D action platformer. Extremely heavy on exploration, of course, and you gotta have power-ups and really an appetite to keep exploring and battling. But yeah, this is an incredible game. If you haven't played it yet, do so. All right, so now that I've announced what my top five favorite games are from this year, I get to tag three more YouTubers. Now, you guys can treat this the way I did if you choose to, just naming the top five that you have played and enjoyed most this year. Or if you prefer, you can do your top five of all time. Whatever, it's totally open and take as long as you need. First up, I'm gonna tag Retro Hunter, formerly known as Cape Prides. He has some crazy good pickups and I haven't tagged him before, so you're up, buddy. Up next, I also wanna tag the Game Hunters. This is a brother-sister duo and I've really been enjoying watching their channel. I'm so glad I finally found it and uh, they have pickups, they've got collection videos. They've got a really cool idea for pickups in under a minute. It's nice and snappy. It shows in a glance what they've recently acquired. You can tell that they're having a really good time and really passionate about their hobby together. 
And lastly, I want to tag another YouTuber that I've really been enjoying watching his channel and seeing it grow, seeing the kinds of different content that he's putting out. He does a really great job editing and producing his videos. That's going to be Water Music Retro up in Canada. He's a fellow music lover. He has an incredible Nintendo collection. Go watch his game room tour if you haven't already. And I'm looking forward to seeing what your top five favorite games were from whenever. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it. I'm so glad you watched this video today. And if you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out at Cross Chop today and play heavy.